So yeah, again, what I got to say I love is the I told you so factor of I'm gonna make you mine There's something special about your love I think it's one of a kind Tamps Cubs says fresh squeezed orange juice daily so we're gonna pick up we're probably gonna pick up two bottles um i'm gonna experiment and freeze one of them and see when it's defrosted how well it kind of comes out and then maybe pick up a couple other things but we're pretty much stocked so see you inside in and out regardless we're not really planning on doing too much shopping all right, I think last time Dan was here, he spoke about this Nutcracker thing, but I don't think he pointed this out. But look at this. It has bags, four bags, that you can use these as like stocking stuffers. So you can put treats in it, um, maybe make a bag like a, with the cellophane bags, and then actual like night before Christmas, you can throw them in there so the kids kind of have something from the Nutcracker or from Santa or from mommy and daddy whatever you you tell your children but full-on Christmas decoration full-on Sam's Club they're prepared for all the holidays we got trees we got snowmen we got nativity scenes over here forget about Thanksgiving forget about Halloween let's just jump to Christmas from Halloween but they just kind of gave yeah it. like they have like back here they do have some like you know and it might just be because they're sold out and now they're doing the Christmas stuff but I don't know they are going hard on the Christmas already so I'm in love with this $99.98 um, it's like a little like tower of like fake boxes and they're plastic but it's just a really cool decoration so Dan's concern is what happens to it when it's like storage time. But I'm like, it sits in this box. So it's able to break down somehow. Cool white, warm white. Um, these actually seem to be a really good price. I don't know because the thing is on the box, it says that they're five, they're five count. So if that's five of those things for $17, then Sam's where this is oh like this is this but the 250 count okay price, I think. yeah for five counts still to be 23 dollars is still a really good buy this is what always messes me up so i look at these right and i'm always like yo that's overpriced i'm gonna go make my own and then the thing is when you go to those craft stores and start to slowly buy a pine cone here and there, you end up spending that money. The only thing is that obviously you can customize it. I always end up treating it like um, how Jamaican people treat like Jamaican food. Like, what? $20 for that? Me can go and go make that and then you're running up your mouth. You're not going to go home and go make that. And when you're you're not going to make home, it. I'm going to make it yourself. It's too you're still going to spend the money go spend it. I'm going to make it. You're paying for the convenience. Now, if it don't taste good, which according to every Jamaican, everybody else food always don't taste good, that's another situation altogether. I think this is overpriced. Like, you can get that, I'm pretty sure. Look how many times you got I feel like, like the reason why this seems so overpriced is every year, at like a home goods or somewhere like this, we see pieces of this that you can collect for... Yeah ended up less than that and they'll all match eventually this is not my thing so i can't really value that and tell you if that is overpriced i've never really been into the christmas car kind of thing but it is a real like like never metal been into christmas cars no how many of you wanted a hedge truck the hedge truck's back and it's better than ever for christmas had a hedge truck that's no a i didn't car. i didn't have a christmas you didn't have a hedge truck? wow so yeah i don't know we have weird traditions in america like those things just get associated with christmas like hess a gas station just releases a random christmas toy hess car hess truck wherever you were um and however old you are and of course the toy section so i only 
is weary of this because I understand the idea is like to show your kid and they have their own but then it also desensitizes them to touching the real thing so I'm always like yeah I'm not good I'm not good with that idea um, I don't know. You guys have something to tell us? Maybe you, maybe you have kids coming and we don't know. But then congratulations. If you weren't expecting them, well, we're going to have to well, sit down and talk about I'm buying you the gift from yeah. now. It's on clearance. This is crazy. Well, this is something that look like we would have forced and make it into a Ninja Turtles toy. Even though they probably wouldn't fit it there. This is a huge toy for $40. I know some people have a certain feeling about like, you know, army toys and all of that kind of stuff. And I, I, as I gotten older, I kind of understand what the whole thing is about. You know, but we grew up on G.I. Joe, so I really kind of see it both ways. No, I love a clearance. My problem with this is this is more a good gift to give away because this is the kind of thing that unless you have the space for really is just seem, it seems like a good idea it's a really good price though i can't lie i don't know it's a good price but it's just one of those stuff you know you can at least eat when at some point for that price Get a little use out of it and then get it. Indoor tent with sleeping bag and a duffel bag. What is an indoor tent? You're supposed to use it inside the house. You can't use it to camp. Don't put your kids outside thinking <laughs> that. This is a good price though. Honestly, real talk, real talk. This is an amazing price. These uh, outdoor blow up. Blow up screen things. Are usually $1 to $49.91. This is an excellent price. Excellent price. This connects this to each perfect. other like that? This is roughly kind of how much they are, but this is big. No, I've but that's six something. of them though. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five of them. Yeah. You can't beat that, yo. Could I make that well? For the Claremont, like ten dollars like each. People, all of, like late five, life Yeah, that's people. Or late life. Yo, um, Sam's Club Clarence is killing it right now. This one has the seat. The seat of what? A seat of what? How old is this? Where are you going to keep that? Outside. It's an outside thing. This is a great t display, but I don't know why you used to pick up this year yellow color. Yes, sir. It wouldn't be my thing. The green is what I would have went for. How much for this? Forty dollars. I think you should think about that one, bro. I'll put the tent back for that. For this one. You saw? You, you hear that? That that is the bargaining. Is the tent that we don't need? We can put that back, so we can get <laughs> this bench that we don't need either. But yo, kids get things that they don't need all the time. It is what it is. They haven't totally given up on Halloween. There are some Halloween costumes here. Um, Kellan got one the other day, and don't think it was here, but a really nice one. Hold on, Lisa is struggling with this thing. Let me see if I can assist. Another Clarence instant saving. Look how cute these are. These are like awesome gifts for teachers, for your like, you know, your squad, your girl squad, or your guy squad. There's some manlier you know colors and stuff like that but this is definitely a really cool gift you could personalize them so the first time my sister did gifts like this for her, for the teachers for her children i designed the snowman and put them on and then the next year after that she ordered them like already made but you could pick these up four pack for twenty dollars and then personalize them or just give them put some pencils in there there you go if your kids are bad, give the teachers a bottle of wine or champagne with that. And then here's another instant savings. It's football season. Buy a keg reader, okay? $400, you can have a keg at your own house. Go Gators. So this is funny, so Lisa kept asking me like, where's the orange juice? And I'm like, it's in the box. And then I'm like, it's in the box by the food. But and I literally, literally like the second time she ended up asking me for it, like, a big waffle of orange juice smell. I wish you guys could smell it. But 
So here has a freshly squeezed orange juice making machine. Juice? There's a juice the juice being made. And the smell is amazing. So ten dollars a little pricey, but if you go to Publix, oh yeah, a no smaller it's like fourteen dollars. No, but they, they have a, they used to have a fresh squeeze one, but the smaller one was about ten dollars. Yo, look how orange that is. Look at that. Man, that's great. So how you know is real orange juice is when it really sit for a while it will separate from the water part and the pulp. So I know this is not all that appealing looking, but it just is like there's no stabilizers in it, there's no preservatives or anything like this. It has to be drunk pretty fast, which won't be an issue in our home. It is so good. Yes, I know the sugars aren't amazing, but it's so good. It's worth it. So one of the pies that we'll always pick up here is going to be the orange juice now and the organic grass fed ground beef is the best price here. I will show you that in a second but this is why we have all three of them because they're just things that you get at this one that you won't get at Costco or BJ's. We have our favorites, we have ones that we shop at more but when you really look at it, this one wasn't even $50 a year so it, was, it, it ends up being a really good price. Yeah. At Publix, this same brand of kit is five dollars. They don't have the flavor I want, but I'm willing to try. If this doesn't have bacon in it, I'm going to try this. But this same kit is five dollars. Sometimes. $6. But the bacon is uh, just a kit you can dash though. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's not mixed in there. I'm gonna try this one. I've never seen it. And then they have the mem members market version of it for about 30 cents cheaper. I can't imagine that it's going to be that different, but you guys let me know. There's the other Taylor one. That's not the one where you like. This is not the one. I've had this one before. I've never had that. So, one. but I'm telling you, almost six hours at public. I'm gonna head into the freezer section. You see? And then Lisa will say, initially I had to drag Lisa in here, you know, drag her in here. What is that? So one of the things that I notice about Sam's is Sam's Club is going to have a lot of impulse buys. A lot of things that you might, there are definitely things that you need. And if you're not into like, oh, I only eat strictly organic and stuff like that, there's a lot of savings to be had. But are a lot of impulse buy stuff here. I don't know if it's gonna be sweet. Or if it had something inside of it, it'd be interesting. Probably make a really good French toast too. Um, let's head into the take you guys in here. So you guys get to shop along with us in the freezer section without feeling the freezing cold. You see why you need to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned. So you get us to come and walk through the store and don't have to deal with that. So yeah here's a much bigger bag um that one is not cabbage this one is just lettuce and stuff like that but they do have the organic um sections here or greens that we need to be eating more of baby spinach spring mix i was eating a lot of this when i was eating um clean so you want to say hi, hi. <laughs> all right natural ones are and organic and of course you know they, do your research because not everything needs to be organic and some of the things are kind of gimmicky they will take your money and sell you something that's unnecessarily to be unga organic or it's a very technical reason that it's organic and you don't need it to be organic you know I'm not anti-conventional or non-organic all the time um, this I still haven't figured out who has the best price for but you can find these in some different places. We use a lot of mushrooms, so um, I'm sure I'll take it to Lisa and she'll tell me yay or nay. But 14, 18 is definitely gonna be better than like if you're going to Publix. Sorry to keep beating up on Publix, you know, we'll shop at Publix when we have to, um, but you're not going to Publix for savings. You're going to Publix for convenience. Some Botos, organic carrot juice, uh i just i know this is supposed to be good for you but i can't do it apple celery cucumber kale and collard greens 
I, it's, it should be good for you. But our 50 calories, sugars, it's 12 grams of sugar. Um, surprising. Can't figure out where, maybe the apple, that's where that's coming from. Sorry, Suja. I'm, I'm, you know, something cold pressed from Suja, that's not a bad price, but not, no, just not for me. Sorry. Anyway, let's get out of the pool. All right, something I've never seen before. It's plantains at a wholesale. Yeah. This is not how I like my plantains to look, but I've never, I've sell, just never seen, seen plantains sold together. Both, right? Yeah. It, it's I don't know. They're like green. I don't know if they're going to turn yellow, but for the price, you're like, oh, maybe you should try it. I think for the yellow. price, it's worth trying it. I'm gonna try one, find one that's like more yellow, but just to see planted in a boat. I've never seen that at Costco, I've never seen that at BJ's. So good job, Sam. He says, still trying to find this thing, but that's I, that's true. I've never even seen planting sold together like in, like by the bunch or anything like that in any kind of bulk anywhere. So that price is kind of kind of killer. Obviously, it's not gonna be organic, but. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, again, what I got to say I love is the I told you so factor of Sam's Club right now because it was pulling teeth to get Lisa to come in here. She was like, yo, we already have PJs and Costco. We don't need it. And I was like, yo, trust me. And then worse, like I said, you can always find these weird deals of $39, $29 for um, your first um, year, it, it is worth it. Trust me, it is worth it. A dollar ninety for organic bananas, really good. Yeah. So sixty cents per pound. So we're trying to get a dollar ninety-eight. Organic Del Monte. It's not. It's not. Uh, if you're some kind of like Chiquita banana, like only. So do do know it's not. It's not that, but they are organic so banana. And that is with inflated prices right now. I might be hungry, but this looks really good. What's that? Lemon chicken? Italian herb grilled chicken. You can make a sandwich out of this. And you know how like I don't like them thick? Yeah. For uh, 11 $12? This cart that was supposed to have like two things in it, maybe some orange juice and maybe beef is now filling up and Kellen has started to move things off of it. So. <laughs> It's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth taking a gamble for the twenty, thirty dollars that you can get the, the uh, membership on, and just see what's in in the club. That's the thing. Sometimes you can catch it just on some kind of deal. Like I remember one time there was a was a group on for a twenty five dollar membership, and that's two cards per household. And it came with a gift card. Yeah. So it was like the fifty dollars, but then you got like a twenty-five dollar gift card to spend in there, which you're gonna easily spend on. I mean, if you're even going to buy like a TV or something like that, it's worth checking out um, a wholesale. But enough of me trying to sell you on a wholesale club. Back to the shoppings. So BJ's used to have something like this. Um, that was frozen that we used to actually get and it was really good this is snapper though yeah snapper let me tell you something jamaicans are always sold on a snapper i mean granted it's not a this is a fillet but trust me it's uh let's see price wise okay not ultimately the best price i've ever seen but like lisa is saying this is freshly wrapped so so this is still has not been affected by it's, it's still fifteen dollars for three packs. That's still the best price that you're getting. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. And it's a hundred percent grass fed, so that's important. It's not grass fed and then given grain at the end to fatten it up. Non-GMO. Non -GMO. So this is more of a natural and not an organic. Um, it's still important for us to show like conventional if we are done with buying that they have pretty decent prices of those still very good this one is a a, a marinated one this one is 450 and this one is these are chicken tender ones oh okay but and they're big four packs normally yeah. you see three 
So again, not always organic. Sometimes they'll have natural or non-GMO and then they have the conventionals here. Conventional packs, for example. A dollar twenty-eight a pound. That's really good. Yeah. This whole thing is. So if you're doing a barbecue dollars. or something. This whole thing is six dollars. Yeah. You go to a restaurant and go buy some chicken. You get in three pieces of chicken if if you're lucky for nine dollars. Okay, so that's the natural place. Wait. So we might have come across something. This is the vegetarian fed, no hormone, no all natural. It is all natural vegetarian fed. They don't have a regular one. Because that one says the same thing. It's the same thing. Again, not organic, but they're trying and it's definitely worth it. They have a small wine section here. Um, well, not that small, but more like the higher end wines are going to be here. And they have some pretty good stuff that we've tried before. And some stuff that we've been meaning to try. There is this one gimmicky kind of wine I've been trying to find. It's this, but there's another flavor to it. There's a, a like a cherry blossom version of this blueberry one. Still can't find it. Hold on, let's go see what Lisa is showing us. From who? Freak, Freak Show? A Zinfandel. I've never seen a cab from We've had a cab from That's what I'm saying, but I've never seen a Zinfandel from Yeah. Here. We've also had this. No, we don't have that one. You sure? I thought we got this one, Tom. A bourbon barrel one. Oh, yeah, this is bourbon, but it's not that brand, though. But it looked like that. We've had definitely had this before. This is yeah, really no. good. We like this one. Yeah, nothing beats the wholesale if you're drinking like everyday wines. You just have better prices. Like we've scanned this and seen this for like in the hundreds. Bottles of wine that are worth trying. Um, and you can find the higher end things. Usually these places will have like a, like a liquor store section that will have like a really high end champagne as well as like your spirits. But the beers and all of that stuff, it makes it all worth it. What is that? Kiosk. Free samples of the. Oh, let's go find out. This okay. is different. So, this is a dude wipes thing. I don't know. So, funny enough, I actually had one of these that I found at, um, what was it like? Marshall's or something. Yeah, kind of bought it as a joke. It's supposed to be like after like working out or something like that. No, it's not. Hmm? That's what it's for. I thought for telling some people don't be in enough. So it's for like toweling off. Lisa is in disbelief right now looking for what it's actually meant to do. Now I'm sure you can use your imagination and find other uses for it. We won't get into that, but that's what it's for. You scan your member ID. Mm hmm And then you get a sample of like... Of Zyrtec? I think whatever it is for the, for the month. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. So usually how they have the samples, sample things like that with like a man sample. This is just like a sample machine. You scan your card, which is weird because you shouldn't be in here if you don't already have your card. But I guess it's just to kind of um, track you and be able to send you promotionary stuff. Yeah. Um, and then you pick the item for the month that is the free sample and they give you something. Yeah, so I think I don't think I was just supposed to get three, <laughs> but it because one woman just had four. So you, you it, read it, huh? Read what it's for since you're in disbelief. It says back in the day we found a new product out of our apartment in Chicago. Whether it was unexpected physical activity, unexpected physical activity, or the aftermath of a lunchtime bur burrito. We realized we were destined to smell. Something needed to be done, so on behalf of Dude Kind, we created Dude Wipes to combat stank. It literally says stank. And put your and put you back on your game, whether or wherever or whenever nature calls. Me tired to tell Lisa, some people not be it. Them just don't be it. That's what that's that's just them thing. They will go to work out or find themselves 
in sweaty situations and rather than bed. I get it. Maybe in a, a work situation, especially mm-hmm. as a nurse, like the 12 hours, yeah. you realize, say, yo, whenever, you know, eight hours in, you're like, yeah, my need for towel off or something after working a code or something. But yeah, no, bed time. Interesting shopping day so far, to say the least, at, uh, at Sam's. So this is usually where we're very like snooty and snobby or bougie or whatever you want to say. But there's a lot of things that don't really impress us here. We're very particular about the frozen foods that we get. Uh, but yeah, they have a re- wide range, you know, might not appeal to us personally, but I'll definitely show you what they got going on. Some Angus beef cheeseburgers, hot pockets. So we keep scanning this, but they do have Jamaican patties in here. This is not the one we buy. Um, there's one that we really like, but this is what they have. When well, Lisa see hot pie on this, she making it even worse. Cause it's a Jamaican style beef patty, which I will, but hot pie, hot pie island joes, jeez. Um. If you've had it, and if you're going to tell me like, no, that is the one, please let me know and we'll try it. But I don't know, I, I'm not come, I'm not all that uh, impressed by just the packaging alone. It look better than the Grace one, I can tell you that. Grace, you need to step it up. Cause the last time we had a Grace free package party, it was a free sample and I didn't want to eat back. Frank's in a blanket, corn dogs. Again, a lot of these things we can't really eat. We have those that we give out at work, so I always see them and associate them with work. Breads. Yeah, they had some Angus beef over there too. Sirloin beef patties, which is a dollar more. Yeah. But they don't have like, there's no preservatives. Yeah. The so the one, one has like a the Costco one says like grass fed on it and yeah. it doesn't say organic, it says but it says grass fed. You have some plant based beyond and then free house, I don't know that one. But this Flame is the closest bread. like word terming that they have. To, to like so a more organic one. And then they have the more gimmicky one that has like cheddar and bacon built into the board, uh, into the patty itself. The chicken. Like nuggets and stuff like that. Chicken wings. Uh, again. It's just worth taking a look for yourself. You might find value in it. And then of course water. It's a hell of a better price to come here and buy water than to like end up going to the parks. So if you even have a BJ's or Sam's or something, or you even just come in for like a long enough vacation, the money that you'll save just going in there for the week helps pay for it. And then remember they have a delivery on not groceries in all cases, but if they're not local to you. I don't know why I sound like I'm selling you the place. It's not sponsored by the way. We're just kind of looking at for ourselves. All right, so this is a chicken sausage with beef collagen casing. It has three different flavors, honey habanero, mozzarella roasted garlic, and then a gouda cake. Really How much price. is it? That's not a bad price at all. Really good. I like that one. Have the bricks of cheese. Lisa was saying her mother used to buy those and chop it down herself. Buy these blocks for $8.98. If you go to Publix and buy a quarter pound, it's probably yeah. about that price. And it's not going to last as long because it's already sliced. So, last thing is going to be to look in this milk section, the dairy section. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry now because this sounds amazing. In a package, not so much, but just the idea of the Thai coconut chicken sounds very good right now. And then they have pre-packaged gyros, but it's the, our gyros. Sorry, I, I go back to the old way of saying it, but, so the, it's supposed to pronounce hero, hero. so yeah. For a three pack of the... Hold on, we're tallying up to see if the pricing makes sense. The Horizon Organic is a three pack for 12.84, so that's it's roughly Horizon, like 4.20. Okay. So that's actually not a bad price. 
what their milk variety BJ's is better because BJ's has like the organics it has the conventional it has so that's what the uh, organic milk that's organic the rice organic so if you think of that it's not bad at all so yeah they have a really good one it's just they don't have a lot of variety Trust me, BJ's hands down has like alternative milk. You hated it because it had what caffeine? Oh, yeah, there's celery in it. Yeah, Lisa bought me this and it has celery in it and it was like punishment, bro. Then we'll always eat that. Why did I buy the spicy one? Oh, that was on sale at Aldi. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not a bad price. Yeah, that's not bad. Sixteen? It's 16 pounds. You want to get that? So, time to evaluate the cart and make sure so we need everything that's here. I said we could leave this because we haven't even, like, I don't like to add on to our Christmas stuff and we haven't even used Yeah, we need to look at how things are going to work out. I'll take this out. Everything else. We got the plantains, we got two salads, we have avocado, we have my cucumbers. You wanted this? This was like four yeah. or something. Okay. Because it's two dollars and something, I get it at Aldi's, so it's better to buy it in bulk. But you have to use it. If not, freeze it, cut them up and freeze them. And then our ground beef, and then organic bananas. We hold off on the um the uh, bench or what? Well. All right, so I guess we get in the bench. Not sure if we're going to fit it, but it's beginning to look a lot like Halloween. So yeah, forget all of this organic stuff that we got going on in the cart. The bag of bones is our tradition for Halloween now. This is one of our vices. So it's like a white cheddar. Decent price too. They also have like a spicy version of it. I don't know why Lisa keep trying to get this thing. She keeps on seeing it. They've made it in like every flavor. Only thing that I can say I don't really fancy some so, so far is the uh, the seasonings. The seasonings aren't great. These prices creeping up, man. As I said, these prices are creeping up, but that's more the inflation thing than anything because. This is still a really good buy, it's just we're only gonna get one flavor in there. Yeah, these have all gone to basically $20, 18 something. I might have to get me the instant savings. Yeah, so call it cheap, call it frugal, whatever it is. The prices on these things are creeping up. But this is what I do rather than, you know, hit the vending machine at work like and drop a dollar a bag of chips. I'm gonna see what is in this one that's on instant savings for $17 versus the $19 ones because they look like they have the same count. Hopefully not too many flavors that I don't like and then it's time to hit the line. Love, I think it's one of a kind There's something special about your love I want it all the time